the following bout is scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the Bama lightweight division. Introducing first, the man standing to my right and fighting out of the right corner. He stands six feet tall and weighed in at an even 155 pounds. He is a mixed martial artist with a record of two and two, fighting out of Cannock, England. Tim the Experiment Wild. His opponent stands across the cage to my left and fights out of the blue corner. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, hits official weight and even 156 pounds. He is a Muay Thai kickboxing and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu specialist. His record, three victories opposite a single defeat, fighting out of Luton, England, Jefferson George. Your three, Mark Wood. Frank, on paper, this could be a very, very close, well-matched fight indeed, couldn't it? Yeah, it's one of those fights that, that absolutely this could go a distance and be very difficult to call every single round. But it's also one of those fights where one guy sees an opening, he can accelerate and take over very, very fast. And so we can see a quick finish with, in this as well. It's a very interesting matchup because both guys are explosive and love to attack. As you can see right now, a oh, great job by Wild getting inside there and trying to step through. But James, do, or excuse me, Jefferson did a great job of getting out of the way. That's right. That was after an orthodox sidekick from Jefferson George. They almost landed in a jumping sidekick as well. Not quite as effective, but as you said, explosive start from both men. Nice little shin kick there from Wilde as well, and they tie up for the first time. And some knees coming in, and two right uppercuts from George, Frank, that almost found the button. George uses a lot of power with his strike and a lot of explosiveness. That usually tells you guys going to get tired very quickly with all that explosive power. That jumping sidekick, he's trying to throw James, he's trying to throw uh, Tim down to the ground. It was very, very, it's, that's the kind of style that gets you tired very quickly. Let's see what kind of shape he has coming to the second round if it makes it that far. That said, Tim was very close to feeling that knee through the channel from Jefferson George. He's going to have to watch for that. His right hand's low. And I got the impression when we were talking before that you can see the real potential with George if he utilizes it. George has got great speed, great explosive power, kind of like a, a Paul Daly, who, who we'll see later tonight, where he can just, from the middle of nowhere, just jump all over you, close a distance of three or four feet. You're outside of his punching range, all of a sudden you're inside of it, and he does some unorthodox things. Oh, great takedown, but ends up on the bottom. Good position, but ends up getting rolled. He didn't, didn't settle in, and as a result, now he's underneath. Let's see what happens with Tim Ground and Pound. And that, that all came from a very different type of kick from Tim Wilde, which was a bread and butter, perfectly placed side kick to the midsection. Good spot, good position, both guys. Been a lot of high action like we thought was going to happen. Now let's see what happens now we're on the ground. Who's going to go where? This is a good position for Jefferson George, though, because he's in his position. We can get to a submission game. He can get the maneuvering, but he's got to open his legs up and start to shift his hips. And this is the other thing we've got to remember. Oh, he's, you cut. Said. he's already got cut. He is, yes. Wow. Yes, the left eye. Jeez, great elbow by Tim Wild, stepped right in and cut him wide open. Because your other concern was Jefferson was when he focuses so much on the submission, that's when he can get caught himself. But he's got a different problem now, Frank. What you know that that's a lot of blood that that's going into the eye. How does that affect the fight now? It's, it's you can't see when that blood goes in the eye. That's what the doctors always talk about. If it's above the eye, you know, an open cut, it's above the eye, an open cut is below the eye. It's a totally different call by the doctor usually. You know, and, and remember at home, ladies and gentlemen, the only people that stop the fight is the rep. The, the doctor suggests the referee should stop this fight because of that cut, but the ref is the one that has to make the call. And the doctor looks at that and goes, hey, this cut is bad. We gotta take a look at it. See, they're looking at it right now. They gotta take a they gotta take a peek at it. It's everywhere. And this could be a this could be a fight stop. Well, when they came straight back up, Tim Wilde had the foresight as well to drive a knee in there as they were coming back up as well, Frank. So he's taking the knee on the end. It's wide. As you can see there, it, it is open. How deep is this is the question? That's it. Good call, that is it. You can see how disappointed Jefferson George is, but that's just the fighter, isn't it? That's a... Uh, there's nothing you can do about it. This is unfortunate. I, I don't like seeing this in young fighters. He's trying to argue with the doctors, trying to wave it off. I get the egos in the way, I get it, but you got to understand. The ref 
the doctor, the commission guys are in, that are in there taking care of you, you gotta give them the utmost respect because those are the guys that are specifically in there for final safety. There's a bad elbow, you got caught, you got cut, it's a bad loss, you can go in the press later, you can argue it, oh, it's not that big of a deal, you know, I got all of us with one simple elbow, as you see here, it's not, it's not, you know, I could have fought on, whatever, that's fine, but don't disrespect the judges, don't disrespect the ref, and definitely don't disrespect the doctor who has an eight-year, 10-year, 12-year degree. He's looking for a couple hundred dollars tonight to make sure that you're okay. That doctor's got to stitch him up here later on tonight. And don't start yelling at him, telling him that he's wrong. No, he's right. This is what he does, so let it go. It was, it was a good stop with the doc. A perfect call by, by Mark Woodard to go ahead and call the doctor in. And the clinical finish oh. by Tim Wilde, wasn't it? Jeez, he Tim, never let him off the hook. Tim is so good. He, I'm so much more. I was impressed with him at Bama 13. At Bama 14, he impressed me even more. This guy, he got he caught some heavy knees in the face, caught some heavy shots right down, the, right down the pipe, kept coming forward, kept his composure, got rocked a little bit. You saw in his eyes, but he didn't back off. He's got, he's in really, really good cardiovascular shape and knows how to come through these tough positions. And that's what you need in a young fighter. The ball game's at three minutes, 42 seconds of the opening round due to doctor stoppage. Your winner by technical knockout. Tim, the experiment, Whoa.